Do you want to know how to build an excellent mallet collection like this? Or maybe this? Or how about this? When you're looking for a stick in your mallet collection, you want to have great options so that when you order mallets, you're not just guessing and wasting money and then getting stuff that doesn't really sound that great, but since you already ordered it, you kind of have to use it. For me, I used to have two sort of problematic ways of ordering mallets. Number one is that I would shamelessly go walk into the practice rooms of my friends in school, in youth orchestra, at Juilliard. I'd look in their mallet bag and I'd say, oh, they're using that? I'm gonna get that. Or I would just skim through every page of the Steve Weiss catalog or percussion source catalog and say, ooh, I want that, I want that, I want that, I want that, and it was expensive. I'd end up getting the package in the mail and it was exciting at first opening it up and looking at these mallets, but then realizing that not a lot of them worked that well. For any given instrument, xylophone, bells, marimba, bass drum, I have a set of mallets that are my go-to mallets that I absolutely know will work for me. I know that they fit my technique. And time and time again, through a process of blind testing, which I'll talk about a little bit later, they have clearly been the best sounding mallets on multiple different instruments at different institutions for orchestral situations. So I'm actually gonna recommend kind of a taboo strategy that you use. It's just how I have chosen mallets, so I'm just gonna lay it out so that you can use that strategy to build your own mallet collection over time. So the first thing you have to have is an absolutely trusted trustworthy, blind, non-biased way of choosing mallets for a given piece or excerpt. I talked about this in another video, and if you're gonna go through this process, you have to watch that video first. It's called How to Choose Your Mallets for an Audition Excerpt. I go through a process of basically setting up a March Madness style basketball bracket. You lay out all your mallets that might possibly work for a particular excerpt. You play them against each other in a completely blind, non-biased way. It's important that you are not looking at your mallets when you're making the decision. Either you have to be listening to someone else play one mallet against each other, A versus B, or you have to be playing and somebody else has to be listening to you play A versus B so that they can help make the decision for you. It's so easy to get biased by what a mallet looks like, by what the brand is, by who made the mallet or which company or what color the ball is made of. You shouldn't just be interested in the mallets that are trending or popular right now. You need to be interested in the actual mallets that sound best. So in that video, I talk about how you should get all the mallets out from your personal collection and borrow any mallets from other people. The step I'm gonna add here is that you should go on Steve Weiss, Percussion Source. Don't forget the companies that don't sell through Steve Weiss and Percussion Source. Do a big order of all the mallets that you know you are allowed to return if you don't like them. You need to have a little cash to do this at first, but you're gonna get almost all of that money back and what you're gonna be left with is only the most important mallets that are absolutely perfect for whatever you're playing on. If you're looking for ideas on which mallets to buy or include in this process, you can do any number of things. First. Buy those mallets that you're excited about, that are trending, that your friends got recently. Second, go on some of the Facebook groups and see what people have been using. There's all sorts of mallet discussions on like orchestral percussion talk, for instance. Buy the mallets of percussionists that you love. Once you have them, choose the pieces that you're working on right now. Whatever excerpts for auditions or solos or orchestra parts. Choose one perfect mallet and maybe one runner up for each of the pieces that you're playing. And then you'd say, okay, that was A, this is B. And then the audience would say, okay, we like B better or A better or whatever. You take out the one that they like less and then you go on to the next pair. And then you go down the line comparing one to one, one to one, A versus B, getting an opinion about which one sounds better, taking out the one that sounds worse according to the people listening to you until you've narrowed it down to one or two. Those are also going to be the winners of this March Madness bracket for you for all sorts of excerpts to come. For instance, Malatech OR39Rs. I don't know what is so magical about those mallets, but they have worked for me for excerpt after excerpt for audition after audition. In fact, if you wanna see a big list of all the mallets that I either used or planned to use for every excerpt of the Met audition that I took to win my job, it's a list of mallets obviously that worked really well for me and it's possible that they might work really well for you. You can get that at robnopper.com slash stickbag. Once you have those five or six beautiful, perfect mallets for a few of your excerpts or pieces, those are gonna be the perfect additions to your collection. Send the rest back, get a full refund, utilize the refund policy that these companies have in order to build your mallet collection better. All right, I hope that helps. Remember, if you wanna download my collection of mallets that I use for my med audition, you can get that at robnopper.com stickbag. If you like this video, 
give me a thumbs up below, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I would love to see you in the next video.